All right, people, welcome back to Carter View. So today we are looking at the last Link monster that we have so far. There are five Link monsters. It's the fifth review. From the time that Link monsters were first revealed up to this Carter View, there have only been five. Of course, if there are more, then hopefully we can get to the point where we can actually look at them because Link monsters are going to be very important in the game. You pretty much have to play them. So today we are looking at Mrs. Radiant. So Mrs. Radiant, she's a dog. Her name is similar, her effect, her effect is similar, type, everything. Um, it's she related to Milius Radiant, you know? Uh, if we look at the wiki on the trivia, it says a female counterpart. So does that mean Milius Radiant is a boy? I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't care about Yu-Gi-Oh! lore, whether my deck has a background story or not. I'm just playing just to play. I would like Yubel whether she was part of the GX anime or not. Yubel being part of GX has nothing to do with me liking Yubel, so it's as simple as that. So, Mrs. Radiance is a monster. She's Earth, Beast, Link, Effect monster. Her Link monsters at, are at the bottom left and bottom right. It's pretty good. You summon her in the extra deck monster zone, and she'll give you two more uh, extra deck monster zones in your main monster zone. So, pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, 1,400 attack. She has no defense because she can't go in defense position, of course. Uh, she's Link 2, and... Her materials are two earth monsters, so no, she is not generic. You need earth monsters. It sucks, but you know what is earth? Right, Zodiac. So they'll definitely be, you know, if Zodiacs continue to persist in the future, they'll be using her as probably their main uh, link monster to go into because she's only in two, so you're only taking a neg one comparison to other link monsters. And she actually gives a little bit of a boost to them. So similar to Milius Radiant, her first effect is Milius Radiant's effect. So all Earth monsters on the field gain 500 attack and defense. All wind monsters on the field lose 400 attack and defense. So she boosts Zodiac. She boosts herself. So, I mean, going up to 1900. All right, not bad, not bad. I know I said Honeybot's only 1900, but I don't know. I don't know. I pick and choose what I like. And this, in this situation, she, that's not bad. Going up from 1400 to 1900. Just that natural boost. And all wind monsters lose 400 attack and defense. Ooh, wow. Magic Spectres are even weaker in attack because that's totally what they need. That's how you totally beat them is that they just get weaker in attack. And instead of Crystal Mass being 3000, he's 2600. Still a great attack bear. So the whole wind monster dropping is kind of meh. The Earth, I mean, you're playing Earth to summon her, so I hope you're playing an Earth-based deck. All your Earth monsters gaining additional 500 attack slash defense is not terrible. Uh, uh, I know it's just a reference to the old Milius Radiance, but still, it's not a terrible effect to have. There could be worse. It could just have no effect. Uh, but what I like about this card and what I think makes this card interesting is the next effect. So, this card is destroyed by battle or by card effect. So, uh, it's talking how Link monsters, how... One of the ways you can, we're going to be easily handling them is that they take resources to make and you can just throw a Dark Hole or Regeki at them. They're gone and you took an egg. Uh, and sure, a battle. She's only going to be 1900. You can destroy her by a battle. Uh, you can target one Earth monster in your graveyard added to your hand. So not only can you grab your resources back for the cards that made her, but also you can grab herself and put her back in the extra deck. So, you know, maybe you can only run one of her because she could just keep recurring herself, which means more extra deck space for you. Or she can grab back Max C. And being able to grab back Max C is just great. It, it really is. Just go, Max C, uh, what are you going to do? Are you going to stop or are you going to allow me to draw? Okay, I'm going to play Millie's Radiance. Oh, you killed? I'm going to grab back this Max C and I'm going to play it and draw some more. Awesome. So that, that's great that she can also do as well. You can only activate the effect of uh, Mrs. Radiance once per turn, but I don't see you activating her effect multiple times per turn. Are you going to, like, she dies, you activate her effect, don't put herself back, grab something back, call the haunted, she, and summon her in the same exact turn, and she dies again, like, no, you know, yeah, you're going to use her wisely, so that last effect really doesn't matter, but just the fact that she recurs, you know, I like that, because it's like these Link monsters, you got to devote two to three monsters that for Link Spider, uh, just to summon these monsters that you definitely need, just for them to be ran over, or destroyed, or whatever, you know, you can still be kaijued and you won't get her effect, you know? She only gets the effect she's stored by battle or by card effect. So if I kaiju over her, no effect for you, you, you know? But I have to never be even summon the kaiju, so we won't even get into that. Uh, but just the fact that she recurs, unlike any of the other Link monsters that we currently have at the time, I like that. I like that. So, uh, and that's pretty much it. You can play her in Zoo. Uh, you can play her in... Um, you know, decks that run Obedience School, that can be a combo. You can go Obedience School and summon three monsters and use three of them, uh, two out of three of the monsters just to summon her because she is B, so it's not like uh, she's hurting uh, when it comes to restriction, you know. Uh, and if you happen to go into, like, 
a Nachoria Beast, which that deck generally combos into doing, uh, then the this plus an Nachoria Beast, and then of course with the Link Bunches at the bottom left and bottom right, just some Nachoria Beast in bottom left or bottom right of this, because it'll open up a space. Nachoria Beast will be 2700, means that Nachoria Beast will be over the attack barrier and negating on the spell. So that's not bad, not bad. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say about Mrs. Radiant. So, that's all the Link Monsters for now. Uh, so if we keep it up, hopefully we can make sure that we look at all the Link Monsters in the future. And as they grow and the mechanic gets stronger, determine uh, to the point where we get to the power creep. So, anyway, tell me what you guys think about Mrs. Radiant in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoyed this card review. Next week, we're going to come back and look at some of the quote-unquote monsters that make Link summoning a little bit easier. A little bit easier monsters that have been getting the thumbs up as good Link monster, make making monsters. So, uh, if you guys haven't already, make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications. We'll be back with some more card review, and of course, I'll be back tomorrow with some more Yu-Gi-Oh! content, so thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, I really do appreciate it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Alright, people, thanks for watching.